Hi, I'm Terry from Heron Instruments. Today we're going to demonstrate how to use the Heron Series 1100 Dipper T water level meter. The Dipper T is an excellent tool for well drillers, consultants, and hydrogeologists who require the most accurate of measurements. This unit can be conveniently converted to a multifunctional instrument, not only to measure static and falling head levels, but also to determine the length of casing and well depth. Let's go over the features and advantages of how to properly use a dipper T. The backpack. To protect the dipper T and for ease of transport in the field, the unit comes packed in a free backpack carry case. Not only will it hold your water level meter and optional probes, but there are pockets for your laptop and notepads. The features of the unit. Now we will go over the different features of the Dipper T water level meter. The powder coated steel frame with the vinyl holding grip is strong and sturdy and easy to hold. The nylon fiber composite plates are installed on the center hub with stainless ball bearings. This allows for smooth movement while reeling the tape up and down the well. Between the two plates you will find the premium yellow steel tape that Heron is famous for. This tape is coated in polyethylene to protect the markings under it for many years. The tape comes in either metric or imperial markings. The imperial markings are in engineering scale. The tape has a dog bone profile, meaning that it's rounded on either side and flat in the center, which helps eliminate sticking to the side of the casing. There is a sheer pin style linkage above the probe which will break away if your probe gets stuck in the well. Better to save your expensive tape and lose that inexpensive probe, both of which are modular and replaceable as shown in our parts list. The built-in hanger and tape guide is an ideal solution for hanging your unit on the side of the well and for protecting your tape from the sharp well casing, casing edge. On the back of the frame, you will find the brake knob. Loosen the brake when you are lowering the tape down the well. At any time you need to stop the tape, simply tighten the brake. You will also find the testing posts. Before you go out in the field, we suggest testing the unit to make sure everything is working properly, including battery power level. Hold the probe tip to the center shaft and the body to the screw at the same time. This will complete the circuit, sending the signal from the probe up the tape to the electronic panel. The buzzer will sound and the LED lights will turn on. We suggest you always carry an extra 9 volt battery in your backpack just in case. The electronic panel is modular and removable in case it needs to be replaced. The circuitry on the back of the panel is encapsulated to protect it from water and the elements. The 9 volt battery is easy to change by simply sliding out the battery drawer. There is an audio and a visual signal when the probe touches the water. There is no on and off switch. The water is the switch and the signaling will occur on its own. If there is any cascading water in the well, simply adjust the sensitivity dial until you get a clear, crisp, consistent signal when the probe touches the water. There is also a mode change button to put the unit into drawdown mode. This is a great feature for pump testing. The Dipper T comes with a fully submersible, removable water level meter probe. This probe is used to detect static and draw down levels. When you lower the probe into the water, the unit will start to sound immediately. Please note that you need to have both the stainless steel end as well as the start of the probe body in the water. This creates a contact. The probe is the start of the first foot or meter. The zero point starts here. When you are in the field, hang the unit on the side of the casing. Then run the tape over the tape guide. Lower the probe into the well. The buzzer will sound and the LED lights will turn on. The reading on the tape will provide you with the static water level. If you would like to do drawdown calculations or pump tests, lower the probe to the desired depth down on the tape where you want to pump the water to. The meter will be sounding. Tighten the brake, then push the mode button once and the meter sounding will stop. 
The unit is now in drawdown mode. Turn your pump on and start pumping out your water. Once the water goes past the probe, the unit will alarm and sound with the absence of water. Drawdown mode will help you to calculate well production. Push the mode button once again and put the meter back into static mode. Now we'll be going over the optional probes available and interchangeable on the 1100 series meter. As you know, the Dipper T water level meter comes with a removable probe that will allow you to connect three different probes. If you purchase the optional well casing, well depth, or PFAS free indicator probes, the Dipper T is now one unit with four functions. To use the other functions, remove the water level meter probe and simply add one of the optional probes. Let's add the well depth indicator probe. This probe is designed to provide you with a more accurate indication of the full well depth. Attach the well depth probe, then lo lower the probe into the well. When it touches the water, there will be no signal. Lower the probe all the way to the bottom of the well. Once it touches the bottom of the well, the plunger will deploy up into the probe body, completing the signal. The buzzer will sound and the LED lights will turn on. Note the markings on the tape to get your full well depth. Now remove the probe and attach the well casing indicator probe. The casing detector probe is used to measure the depth of metal casing in wells and boreholes. This is an ideal tool to use during the construction of a new well or decommissioning abandoned wells. When using this probe, make sure you use the tape guide. This will help bring the tape slightly out from the side of the casing. Lower the probe slowly down the well. The unit will continuously sound while the probe is within the steel casing. Once the probe goes past the steel casing, the unit will be silent. Note the markings on the tape to indicate the full depth of the steel casing. In case of PFAS regulations, we do offer a Teflon free probe as an option for this unit. This probe works the same way as the standard water level meter probe, detecting both static and drawdown levels. So this is how you use the Heron Dipper T water level meter with four functions. If you have any questions, you can contact us through our website at heroninstruments.com. Thank you for watching.